So going from A on <coughs> to B, I would call it NAB, but you guys might call it something different. But I'm just going to call it N now because we reduced it to one variable of N. Mm -hmm. So we have how many unknowns? Four unknowns. How many equations do we need? We have four unknowns. How many equations do we need? Four equations. Four equations. How many bodies? Two bodies. Two. What do you want to do? Let's think. Let's let's just go ahead in our heads to do the static analysis. Okay. If you look at here, how many unknowns do we have in this free body? Free body diagram one has how many unknowns? Two. Try again. One, two, three unknowns. Mm -hmm. How many unknowns does free body diagram two have? One, two, three. One, two, three again. Which means if we looked at free body diagram first, free body diagram one first, or free body diagram two first, we would not be able to solve for all the unknowns because there are three unknowns here. And how many equations can I get from this? Two. Only two. Some of the forces in the x and some of the forces in the y. I could only get some of the forces in the x and some of the forces in the y equals zero. I only have two unknown, two equations for this, but I have three unknowns. What equations do I have for this one? Some of the forces in the x and some of the forces in the y. Two equations, how many unknowns? Three, I can't solve for these. What about this? How many equations do I have? Some of the forces in the x equals zero, some of the forces in the y equals zero, and how many unknowns do I have here? Two. So which free body diagram would it be best to use the equations with first? The last one. Third one, free body diagram three. Because using free body diagram three, I could solve for those two unknowns, NA and NB. Then I would need another free body diagram, right? Either one or two to solve for N and theta. So the important thing that we're doing today in class is looking up the setup. Check out the picture. Read the words. Write down the given and find. Do the table. How many unknowns do we have? How many equations do we need? How many bodies do we need to analyze and draw the free body diagram? That's it. The next step is to solve the whole problem with statics. So the homework that I'm assigning today, homework number four,